The other tools needed for assembly, a flathead screwdriver, a half inch open end wrench, half inch socket wrench, and a leveling device. Also gather the splice clamps and their hardware. Place the switch track side down on a workbench and remove the protective cover. Locate the field connection terminal strips. Terminals 5 and 6 are for connection of 120 volt power. Terminals 1, 2, and 3 are for connection of the remote control station. A wiring diagram is also provided for additional information. The switch is provided with factory installed and preset limit switches to assure proper alignment of the track sections. Do not adjust the limit switches in the field. You may make the electrical connections now with the switch at ground level or after the switch is installed. Either way, replace the protective cover on the switch and secure it with the hardware provided. The switch connects to three model 1400 running tracks. These tracks can be installed after the switch is installed or before. We are showing them pre-installed in order to save time. Note that the switch must be rigidly mounted to an overhead structure. The tracks do not support the switch. We are showing threaded rod being used which is the most common method of attachment. The switch can now be lifted into position and temporarily secured to the threaded rod. The switch is then leveled and alignment with the running tracks is checked. The use of threaded rod allows for additional adjustment even at this point. Once leveling alignment is confirmed, the switch is secured to the threaded rod using lock washers, nuts, and locking nuts. Next, the track splices are installed to both sides of the track sections and switch sections using the half inch hardware provided with the splices. Continually check the splice alignment as you secure the splices, making sure the tracks remain properly aligned.
Run the switch in one direction and visually confirm the track sections line up correctly for this direction of travel. Next, manually run some carriers through the switch to confirm proper alignment of the track sections. Now run the switch in the opposite direction. When at the end of its travel, visually confirm proper alignment of the track section. Manually run carriers through the switch again to confirm proper alignment of the tracks for the switch in this position. The track switch is now properly installed and may be put in service.